Hello everyone, it is your favorite kind of punch, Mr. Falcon Punch 996, the underrated king, the recommendation master, and of course YouTube's number one Doro Vidal fan man, back to bring you guys another manly manga review. Now I've been meaning to do this review for a while now, and when I say a while now, I mean two fucking years. But now it's time to finally bring you guys a review for one of my personal favorite mangas, Oyaji. Oyaji was created by Moriyama Tatsuru in 2000 and ran in the Big Comic Superior magazine. This manga tells the manly story of Kumada Takeshi, aka Oyaji, who after leaving his family years ago due to some troubles he had to keep a secret for his family's safety, finally makes a return only to find his daughter becoming sort of a bitch with an abusive boyfriend, his son being a wannabe delinquent, and his wife just barely keeping it all together. However, upon his return, Oyaji sets out to regain the trust of his children, who know little of the kind of man he is, as well as fix his family for the better. Now this manga is absolutely an underrated gem that everyone should check out, as it tells a truly manly story that is also very heartwarming, showcasing the values of family and what really makes a man. Through this three volume manga, we see Oyaji single-handedly bring together his dysfunctional family, resolve some leftover issues, and take some peeks into Oyaji's past to see what exactly made him the man he is today, and even see how he got together with his wife, which in itself was a fantastic and manly read. Hell, we even see Oyaji teach his daughter's abusive boyfriend how to become a true man fitting for his daughter. Now as I've mentioned plenty of times in the past, I am an absolute sucker for stories regarding family. However, this one really hits home. Especially the ending, which was so well done manly it had me with manly tears in my eyes and my fist aimed towards the sky. As someone who one day wishes to become a father in the future, this manga perfectly captures the true essence of fatherhood and what a family should be like which is quite honestly something I don't see too often in other manga series, or at least done to this caliber. Of course, the true star of this manga is Oyaji himself, the man who puts man in Family Man, who's honestly one of the manliest manga characters to ever exist. I mean, damn, just look at him. That is practically testosterone personified. However, I'll go more into the art later. What really makes Oyaji so manly is simply due to how dedicated he is to his family and the lengths he's willing to go to protect them. Because trust me, you just don't want to fuck with Oyaji. Because this dude is so badass, it's almost on a whole new level. While as a character, Oyaji may not say much, it's his actions that really speak out for him, making for many epic scenes of manliness. And while I would love to sit here and tell you guys how awesome he is, I really want you guys to go and experience it for yourself if you haven't already. But now let's get into the art. The art is simply manly. Again, just look at Oyaji. His design is just so well detailed, it just oozes manliness. As every inch of this guy, and I do mean every inch, is just filled to the brim with manliness. But beside that, this series' realistic and gritty art style is very well done and detailed. Though, to be honest, some characters can just look downright ugly. However, it does work with the series' gritty tone. Overall, this manga is something that shouldn't be missed, as it's truly a manly story of fatherhood that will bring tears to your eyes and hair on your chest. Which is why I say this manga is near perfect. And now it's time to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I am Mr. Falcon Punch 996. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't done any of that yet, you will be Falcon Punch in the face. So you better do it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.